What's up guys, Everything Alpha Pro here, and today I've got the brand new Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus in my hand. A little bit earlier than I was supposed to get it, but today I'm gonna be doing a durability drop test comparing the results to the iPhone 6 Plus. Now we've had these guys on a smaller scale, the S6 Edge and the iPhone 6, and as that has shown us, the S6 Edge was very durable. Now I wanna see on a larger scale. With the iPhone 6 Plus and S6 Edge Plus, these things get a little bit bigger, you know, there's more surface area to damage. So with this video, I wanna be testing a drop test at waist height, head height, and a 10 foot drop, seeing which one will be more durable. You know, a year from now, you're gonna be looking at these phones, and what I wanna see is a clean display, clean borders. I don't want this thing to be very damaged, so what the point of this video is, is it's gonna show me how well these things do when subjected to drops and torture. Are they gonna be all scratched up or cracked, or are they gonna look good a year from now, or after dropping it repeatedly? So this thing is made of Corning Gorilla Glass 4 on the front and rear. It's got the edge display, which might be a little bit easier to fracture. However, the iPhone 6 Plus has ion strength in glass and aluminium, although it's very, very soft. This is hardened on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So on a larger scale, let's go ahead and see how these guys stack up durability-wise when dropping them at waist height, head height, and a 10-foot drop. All right, so Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is lucky contestant number one. So say you're taking it out of your pocket, this is where the situation would fall into place and your phone just drops on its side. And we're gonna be testing this on the side and face down as well, as well as the rear glass, because this thing is prone to shattering and I want to see how tough it is on the larger uh, device. Anyway, so uh, about waist height right here. Let's go ahead and drop this guy. Mwah. This thing is so beautiful. I love the gold color. It hurts me to do this. But anyways, here we go. So three, two, one. Ouch. Solid impact. Well done. So, of course, I don't expect much to happen, just a couple scrapes right here. I'm gonna set this guy aside, and 6 Plus is next. So, uh, here's this guy, you know, just a silver iPhone, a 6 Plus, nothing too special about it, it's been around for a while. As we've learned, this thing isn't the most durable device, but let's go ahead and drop it. Dropping in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> so it's going to be a little tough sticking a headphone jack in there. It actually dented in a little bit and the glass is coming out right here. I'm afraid I'm going to cut myself. It's really sharp. Are you serious, Apple? Come on. Please make the glass stronger next time. I mean, that was, that was barely even a fall, but hopefully 6S does better. Anyways, I guess I'm just going to keep going in this guy until it shatters completely or the phone stops working. So let's go ahead and up it to a head height fall. All right, so here we are at the head height test. So you just change your car's oil. You have greasy oil all over your hands and you grab your phone to pick up a phone call. So it slips out of your hand in three, two, one. All right. Front and back look unscathed. Just uh that's actually not even bad. That's really tough metal. It's not as soft as the iPhone 6 Plus, that's for sure. So when you do drop it, the dents and jagged edges aren't as apparent. That's what I do like about this. So, of course, no damage. I didn't expect any on this guy. It's extremely durable. Let's go ahead and do the same with the 6 Plus. All right, so this thing already has the edge uh, slightly cracked, but I'm going to go ahead and just drop it on the bottom uh, again. So a head height in uh, three, two, one. The crack did not get bigger. Just uh, like I said, it's a very, very soft metal. Gouges appear very easily, unlike on the Samsung. So if you're gonna drop it, the Samsung will fare better. The metal won't be as uh, jagged. So it's definitely more apparent here, but screen did remain unscathed. It still works, but it's now Asian. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the 10 foot drop. All right, so here we've got the ever durable Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus holding up very well, but how will the 10 foot fall affect it? Anyways, let's go ahead and answer that question. So three, two, one. Oh. That was borderline on the screen. Wow. Samsung amazes me every single time with its shock resistance. That's incredible, wow. So, a lot of new scratches on the borders, but I saw the impact on the display yet, wow. 
I'm uh, I'm very impressed. So the same deal with the iPhone 6 Plus. This one, I have a gut feeling that it will not do anywhere near as good. If the screen survives, there's gonna be a deep, deep gouge. But anyways, let's go ahead and do that 10 foot drop. So uh, three, two, one. And I can already see, man, that did it. That was enough. So the display is uh, jutting out of the frame. The impact bent that soft metal. As you guys can see, this thing is so soft. I don't understand why Apple would make the material so mendable. That's what they're gonna improve in the 6S. But although the display does work, there's some really interesting fading, some coloring down there, and the cracks are really bad. Like, I don't know. It'd be really hard to use the phone with this, but I'm going to keep going with the face down test until the phone no longer works. And as you guys can see, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus did much better. So even at this point, we can clearly see that the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus has a clear advantage over the iPhone 6 Plus when it comes to durability. Both landed very roughly and the S6 Edge Plus just takes that shock so much better thanks to that Corning Gorilla Glass 4. This is what you get when you drop your iPhone 6 Plus at 10 feet. So there's no question here. The Galaxy S6 Plus is more durable. So let's go ahead and do a face down drop at the same intervals and see what it takes to kill the iPhone 6 Plus and destroy the screen on the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. All right, so uh, simultaneously waist height in uh, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. So the 6 Plus is more severe now, but this is completely shattered. Wow, I, I thought this thing would at least last until the 10 foot drop, but you know, it still works. The thing I like about the Galaxies is that Gorilla Glass 4, when it is cracked, it's a lot, you know, you can see the screen better. The cracks don't get in the way so much as they do with the ion strengthening glass on the iPhone 6 Plus. So that's a clear benefit there too. If you crack it, you'll see your phone better underneath. You know, that's painful. That was just a waist height drop, but the edge display makes this thing more fragile. So uh, let's keep going and see what it takes to destroy both of these completely. So at this point, both of these guys are a mess, but I wanna keep going and see what it takes to destroy both of them completely, uh, see how far they can get. Now the rear, I'm gonna do that at the end as well. Anyways, so about a head height right here, face down. Three, two, one. Ouch. So uh, six plus. Uh, yeah, I can't even put the screen assembly back in. It's completely jutting out. A whole bunch of interesting colors on there. This guy, though, although there are many cracks, you know, the glass isn't really coming out and it's a lot easier to see underneath. So definitely usable. Not so much as the iPhone 6 Plus. It's getting really hard to see. Anyways, let's go ahead and do the 10 foot face down. All right, and lastly, let's hope we can put these guys out of their misery and uh, do the 10 foot drop face down on an already shattered display. See which one fares the worst. So I'm gonna add a little spin to them so they uh, both land face down. Anyways, three, two, one. Oh, that is a Samsung Apple sandwich. Ouch. See, I mean, look at this. There's definitely distinct durability on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So I can't, I can't do anything on this. The digitizer seems to be on not working. LCD is completely messed up. So it's all popping out. However, the S6 Edge Plus is certainly usable. Like I can, I can use this. It's a little bit obtrusive, but you know, the cracks, they're not so visible. And that's what I like about this guy. Overall though, the condition is so much better than the 6 Plus. So I'll, lastly, I just want to test the rear glass and see what it takes to shatter this guy as well. You disappoint me, Apple. How am I supposed to make calls now? Hopefully the 6S will do better. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what it takes to break this rear glass. So made of the same material as the front and do this real quick. So about waist height. mint all right so head height again i'm gonna add a little spin to it that did not sound good my prediction is it's broken yeah there we go so that's what it took guys uh you know i'm, I'm impressed though this thing does very good compared durability wise to the iphone 6 plus 
this thing is miles more durable and that's very evident doing these tests. So I'm surprised that this didn't shatter. It did on the S6 Edge, but overall guys, at the end of the day, when you've dropped these guys, you've abused them. When they can take no more, the S6 Edge Plus will certainly look so much better than the iPhone 6 Plus. It'll be usable, all the cracks, uh, you know, they do obscure your vision a little bit. It's not so bad as the iPhone 6 Plus. This thing isn't even usable. The assembly comes out, the metal material is actually very soft. You can see the indentations a lot more. This thing is a tougher material, but I gotta tell you the 6S Plus will do a lot better in the future, but as far as six goes, man, Apple really needs to step their game up. So definitely a clear winner to the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. I'm very proud of you, Samsung. You've done a good job in terms of durability. So as you guys can see, the result of this test is that the S6 Edge Plus is clearly more durable when it comes to shock than the iPhone 6 Plus. It's a phone I would trust more if you had butterfingers. So if that's an important factor when deciding between smartphones, this phone is certainly for you. It's way more usable. Uh, it's definitely not as beat up as the iPhone 6 Plus after enduring the very same shocks. Gorilla Glass 4 really holds up. And I really hope that Apple steps their game up with the iPhone 6S. So be sure to check out more of these videos on my channel. I love doing these type of videos, guys. But these phones do deserve better. So, uh, you know, it's sad. It's sad that I'm doing this to them. Anyways, they deserve so much better. Come find them if you want them.